Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I'm using my nicer microphone, so let me know if you can tell a difference. And I'm not sure how this is going to pick up my keyboard also, because my keyboard is, uh, what do they call that with the switches? Um, why can't I think of it right now? Mechanical, right. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, well, my keyboard's mechanical, so I don't know how this will pick it up. And anyway, this is part eight. Uh, in the last video, we went ahead and we talked about a scroll viewer, which essentially just allows us to put a bunch of content in a window and uh, not worry about running out of space because we're able to scroll through that content. And if you missed that video, I recommend you checking it out. Anyway, today we're going to look at something a little bit similar, a way to, or it's, it's a container, it's a it's another container, um, and instead of scrolling, it, it works in a different way. It moves stuff around when space becomes limited. Um, and I would most likely compare this to responsive uh, application design or web design, um, where depending on the screen size, stuff is moved in a way where it makes the user experience good no matter what. Right, because we in the end we never know what kind of screen size our user is going to have, and maybe they only use part of a screen versus all of it. You know, they have their reasons. So, um, we're going to look at what's called the wrap panel. So, the wrap panel is a container, and I went ahead and cleared out everything we had before, and I'm just going to create different labels in here. Actually, no, I'm going to create stack panels, and then in each stack panel, it's going to be a label. So, and we'll make the content first, and let's make its, uh, its font size a little larger. What's 25 look like? Let's make it a little larger than that, 30. And that should be alright. Um, let's go ahead and copy this and put a few of these. Wow, that's going to bother me. Everything will have to line up. <laughs> okay. So let's change this to, if I can type second, third, fourth, and then fifth. Okay. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do at all. I meant to put each one of these in its own stack panel. So let me do that real quick. And then I'll cut that part out because that'll be tedious. And then we can go from there and see what the wrap panel really does. All right, so I put everything in its own stack panel now. And before that was why it was going uh, vertically. <laughs> I was wondering why is everything vertical and not horizontal? And uh, that fixed it. So I put everything now in its own stack panel. Um, and we're going to go ahead and see what happens when our screen size becomes different. Let's say it becomes less wide. And you can see why the wrap panel is really powerful. So here we go, you have our new uh, desktop application. You can see that when I start to make the width smaller and it starts running into the first stack panel, that will just pop down into the next available space. And we can see that it keeps doing that. Uh, as I continue to do that, see how even on the next line, uh, I move down to the third, the third row, and so on and so forth, until we get to like this, and it won't let us get any smaller. Um, so you can see how this can be very useful, right? You have different stack panels of content, and no matter how wide the user has their window, um, they're able to still be able to see the content. Maybe you can do something like... Um, there's a, a scroll viewer and then inside of that a wrap panel. So just in case uh, as things get pushed down and down, right, um, and they run out of room, you know, and the height wise, vertically, they are able to still scroll through that content and that's something you can do. Now another thing you can do with the wrap panel is like it was looking before, you can set the orientation to vertical. And this way, all of the stack panels now are put vertically. Like if I were to have a stack panel um, and make its orientation vertical and have multiple labels inside of it, it would look the same way. So let's go ahead and hit start. And you can see now if we make the height smaller, um, it just does the same thing. It moves it up into the next available spot, just like that. 
and now it looks like how we started out when we had this uh, default which is horizontally so it's not not too hard of a concept right uh, and it's, it's something that's so powerful um, and for so many reasons just because it gives the user a good user experience that uh, they still like your app no matter what kind of device that they're on so anyway guys thanks for watching this was a quick video but I think a very useful one if you haven't seen the wrap panel yet. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.